Okay, so today we are going to be making one of my goat milk soaps uh, with a new fragrance that I'm really excited. It smells amazing. It's called Espresso, and it's from Brambleberry. Now, if you look at the label, it says do not use in cold process because it accelerates. So we will see what happens. I've planned a very simple design for... Um, you know, just in case it really does accelerate like it says it's going to. The reviews on Brambleberry said it actually didn't accelerate that badly. So we're going to use my usual recipe, uh, which is usually pretty decently behaved. I have upped the water a little bit to combat the acceleration um, in the form of more goat milk. So this is a little bit more goat milk than I normally use. Uh, I'm soaping at room temperature. And again, that's a great way to try to combat a fragrance oil that's supposed to misbehave. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything all in here. I'm trying to burp my stick blender, come on. All right, there it goes. This is my titanium dioxide, also from Brambleberry. And I've got a little bit of gold mica because I was hoping to maybe do a little bit of drizzle. We'll see how this goes. So this is my lye solution. My lye solution contains raw silk. It also contains powdered sugar and of course, lye itself and sodium lactate. Do not forget the sodium lactate. If you forget the sodium lactate, you are going to be wishing you had not forgotten the sodium lactate. Let me scrape all the rest of this out. Um, the big issue with forgetting sodium lactate, if you haven't seen my other videos, is that for me, it takes a lot longer to unmold my soaps. Um, it's also humectant, so I like the way it makes your skin feel. It helps draw moisture um, away into the skin itself. So here is my goat milk. Uh, I like to stir this in pretty decently and then add the goat milk on top of it. I don't add my goat milk to the actual lye. I just add it to the oils once I've stirred in a little bit. This is a way that I learned a while ago um, from watching YouTube videos and watching other soap makers. Um, so for me, it works really well and it just helps keep my soap nice and doesn't scorch the milk and incorporates it really nicely. So I'm not gonna stick blend a whole bunch because again, I'm expecting this fragrance oil to be naughty and to speed up on me. So I'm just gonna get this all at least emulsified, which is just a fancy word for well incorporated, making sure all the lye, the oils, the fats are all mixed in together um, before I actually split it off and then get our titanium dioxide. So this looks pretty good here. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape this off. And the molds that I use are from Nurture Soap. That's the 4.5 pound tall and skinny mold. I'll leave a link for this in the description. They're my favorite, I love them. I wish I could find this exact diameter in, um, in a slab mold so I could make multiple because I love how tall and skinny these are. I just think it's a really attractive bar of soap. So now that this is emulsified, I'm gonna go ahead and split off a little bit into my other pitcher, which I am not going to scent because the scent is supposed to also discolor. So it has like two of the biggest things I usually hate, which is discoloring and accelerating. But if I know it's going to do it, it's worth the risk. And this smells so good, I think it's really gonna be worth it. So let me go ahead and pull off some more over here, tuck this to the side. And we are going to add our titanium dioxide to this one. And I use the titanium dioxide from Brambleberry. Like I said, I like it the best. Um, it's mixed with oil. I pre-disperse it. Uh, if you have issues with your titanium dioxide leaving flecks and a mess in your soap, I highly recommend I Dream in Soaps. Um, video on how to blend titanium dioxide. Uh, I follow her advice, and as long as I follow her advice, I don't have problems. If I do not follow her advice, I have problems. So don't be like me and be in a hurry. Just listen to Lisa and you'll be fine. All right, so here we go. We're going to add the fragrance oil and we'll see what happens. I am expecting an earth shattering acceleration. So we will see if we get the earth shattering acceleration. Just checking this. All right, here we go, adding it in. Adding it in, a little bit in there too, adding it in. Um, okay, where's, where's the acceleration? Uh, maybe, maybe I just didn't mix it enough. Hold on, let's, let's see. 
Let's see. We'll add a little bit of gold because this is um, this is this is actually behaving pretty decently so far. Let's add a little bit of gold to both of these guys. See what happens here. Because I'm so far not really seeing any acceleration. Normally, when it says acceleration, uh, you gotta hurry. It's a mess. So I want a little bit of gold to be traced through the bar. So I'm just gonna add in the less scented portion. And then I'm gonna add in the scented that's completely unscented. A little bit of an in the pot swirl. If you watch my marble video, I did the same thing. Um, and we'll pour it in. And um, I don't see any acceleration at all really, like none. Like, I could have done a really complicated design. Okay, this is really weird. Um, all right, so that's different. I'm not sure why I didn't see an acceleration, but that's okay. Um, I'm, I'm here, I'll go with it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a cute little foamy top on top of our little coffee bar here. And just kind of put that in. Now I see a little bit of acceleration, like this is thickening up a little bit, but it's not, it's not unworkable. I was definitely expecting a soap on a stick or super ricey, super lumpy soap. And that, um, that was actually pretty fabulous. So I am going to clean this up a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and decorate the top. But um, that, that wasn't terrible. That was actually pretty nice. So... Um, yeah, it, and it's still liquidy. I mean, look at that. I can wiggle it around. Um, huh. Okay, well, note to self, this fragrance actually behaves beautifully with my recipe, and it's fantastic. So I will, from now on, not believe that particular story and continue to use it as such. And since I don't like a totally plain top, let's go ahead and decorate this with some little, little mica drizzle. And all this is, it's just um, gold, I think it's Maya gold from Nurture Soap dispersed in a little bit of uh, olive oil um, that I, in this case, it is actually not taken from the recipe. This is extra because I super fat at only 5%. Um, I don't mind using a little bit of oil that isn't calculated in for my colorants. So instead we'll just use it on top. And what'll happen is, is that overnight this will sit and tomorrow it'll be just cute little dots on top of the soap and the oil will actually absorb. So the mica stays pretty well put. Um, these will wash off once the bar of soap is actually used, but it's not like using alcohol where it's going to just be like dust and fall off immediately. The oil kind of acts like um, a carrier, I guess, or even almost like an oil paint, obviously not quite that permanent, but same idea, and it holds the oil in place, and it enacts, or the mic in place, and it holds with the soap below it, so you can keep your cute design instead of it being all over the place. So let me just get a couple more of these on, and then I think I will be pretty happy with that.